At uh, ESMO 2021, uh, I had the great privilege of presenting the uh, final overall survival analysis of the ALTA 1L trial. Uh, to remind folk, this is a first line trial of ALT positive patients randomized to receive either brigatinib frontline or chrysotin. Uh, one cycle of chemotherapy uh, was allowed. Uh, the updated uh, analysis uh, confirmed the ongoing PFS benefit of uh, brigatinib over chrysotinib with um, a median of 24 months uh, by Burke review compared to 11 months for chrysotinib and 31 months for investigator reported PFS uh, compared to uh, 9.2 months. Importantly, the updated data confirmed the strong intracranial benefit of uh, brigatinib in patients with CNS uh, disease with the intracranial progression-free survival hazard ratio of 0 0.29 by uh, blinded uh, review, which translates to a median intracranial progression-free survival uh, benefit of 24 months compared to 5.5 months with uh, uh, chrysotinib. Um, the uh, updated analysis also allowed us to present uh, overall survival. Now, re we should remember that with um, the ALTA1L trial, there was crossover which was built in. And because of that, um, about 47% of patients did cross over from chrysotinib to receiving brigatinib. We should also remember that brigatinib in the post chrysotinib setting is extremely effective and perhaps one of the most uh, potent ALK inhibitors to use in the post chrysotinib setting. It's therefore uh, not surprising at all that there's no uh, difference in the overall survival in. Um, trial because of that extent of crossover, one would speculate, and the overall hazard ratio is 0 0.81. When we look at the point estimate of uh, survival at the four-year landmark, we're seeing that 66% of patients are alive when treated with upfront uh, brigatinib and about 60% of patients with chrysotinib. And I would say that this compares you know, very favorably with what we've seen with other ALK inhibitor uh, trials. Importantly, uh, and underlying the CNS efficacy of brigatinib, the overall survival uh, for patients with CNS involvement at time of enrollment was strongly significant with a hazard ratio of 0.43. So overall, brigatinib continues to demonstrate with further follow-up its efficacy, both in terms of progression-free survival and importantly, we now have a four-year landmark uh, for overall survival. Um, and finally, uh, we can say that when we look at quality of life, uh, brigatinib continues uh, to uh, uh, improve the time until worsening of global um, health status in patients and quality of life measures with a hazard ratio of 0.69 compared to chrysotinib. If you look at, uh, if you take account of um, crossover for overall survival, and uh, we look, used a number of statistical methods, but using the MSM method, uh, it actually demonstrates that the hazard ratio is 0.54 for overall survival, giving you sort of an, an estimate for the survival benefit that might have been seen if uh, crossover was taken into account. So overall, uh, the updated data confirms the intracranial and overall whole body efficacy of brigatinib compared to chrysotinib.